Hey everybody, this is Corey, and this is another screencast for you today. Uh, today I'm not going to do an actual product review, uh, but I am going to show you uh, something that I use a lot that's built into Mac OS X Leopard. Uh, so what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you spaces. Now, a lot of people might use spaces. I know there's also a lot of people that see no need in it. And this is what I'm going to kind of show. As if you've watched any of my screencasts, you'll see that I use spaces a lot. That's what allows me to flick between screens like that. But we're going to show first on how to enable it and kind of better using spaces. So if you go into your system preferences, it'll be in your personal setup on the uh, top row here and it'll be called expose and spaces now by default I believe expose is normally selected but you're gonna hit your spaces tab there and you're going to enable spaces you're gonna click this checkbox right here now from this point you can do a couple different things you can show spaces in the menu bar which is gonna be this a little icon that shows uh, four windows and we'll say for which will say which space that you're actually in uh, but I don't normally use that I'm pretty good at keeping track of the uh, spaces that I'm in now from this you can see that you could do a couple different things so you can have your shortcut key to activate spaces and you can set that a little bit uh, farther with mouse clicks and that's basically going to show you all the spaces so on my MacBook Pro it's FN F8 and you see all these windows pop up and then I can select a space this way by clicking any of the spaces that I want to click on that's good to set up if you're going to be using it a lot really easy for a keyboard shortcut uh, good thing to do also when you first uh, start using spaces to kind of keep track of everything the next thing you're going to have is uh, how to switch between spaces on the keyboard without having to pull anything up. So I have mine set up where it's control and the arrow keys to move around. And then to switch directly to a space, I have a control and a number key. So right, right now I'm in space four. If I wanted to switch to space uh, two, I just hold control and hit two and that'll take me where I need to be. Also with that, you can add more than four spaces if you want you can take rows away columns away if you want you can add more to it so see we can get a nice bunch of mess right there we can get up to 16 spaces uh, if you really see yourself using that many uh, personally I keep it at four I never go above four I don't see a need to have that many open I'm not that big of a multitasker uh, but something else really nice that you can do is set up applications to open in certain spaces so right here let's set up a tweet deck I use that all the time and I always use it in space 3 I like to have it as my uh, third space so now anytime I launch tweet deck it's automatically going to open in space 3 if I want to add another one let's see uh, well we'll do Safari Safari is always my number one space so we'll just set it like that now if we want to do another one, we're stuck there in everything we do iChat, and we'll put that in every space. So when iChat's up, it'll always stay activated in the space that I'm in. So let's kind of, let me close this down, and I'll kind of show you what we're doing here. So go to space, this space here, and we're going to see that everything like everything's all nice and organized we go down a space everything where it's needed where it needs to be still everything stays separate I have an empty space and then I have the space here now if I activate iChat you're gonna see that that stays on top of every space that I go to now something else that you can do if you choose let's launch uh, let's see if I can launch something nice and simple here well we'll go ahead and just launch the system preferences again now 
what we're going to do with this is I'm going to go into my control view where I see all my spaces and I really don't need this space this you know preference to be opened up in its own space so I'm just going to drag it over to where my Safari space is and just drag it over there hit it and it's there simple as pie so you drag them around take them where you need to go and sometimes if you drag to the extreme edge it will actually go to where you need to be so you can move it around that way but it's easier to go to the full view and drag your space from there well that's gonna do it for this screencast I do want to say that uh, if you're not using spaces give it a shot it comes in really handy, especially if you're a tweet, uh, Twitter user and use TweetDeck. TweetDeck takes up a lot of space. It's nice to have in its own window so you're not constantly minimizing and maximizing to see things and to hide it. So give it a good try for that. There's also a lot of utilities out uh, for that utilizes spaces. There is Doc Spaces, uh, which I will do a screencast on uh, here in a couple months, probably maybe a little sooner. And that allows you to customize your dock to each space. So you can have a space for video editing, you can have a space for uh, social media, you can have a space for just about anything and the dock changes to that space. Uh, there's also hyperspaces which allows close to the same thing but we'll take a look at both of those in later screencasts. Hopefully you've enjoyed this screencast, hopefully you find it useful and this will get you encouraged to start using spaces a little bit more.